Now to that manhunt for an escaped killer in Pennsylvania. Police acknowledging today they no longer have a defined search area after he slipped through their perimeter and changed his appearance. George Solis is there on the ground for us. Authorities tonight revealing the manhunt for Daniello Cavalcante, contained to one park just days ago, is now wide open. Unfortunately, we don't have a containment area right now, so that's another, uh, uh, you know, another concern and another challenge. Over the weekend, the elusive Cavalcante somehow escaped that park, sneaking past 400 members of law enforcement, stealing this van, abandoning it, and vanishing once again. Authorities now say Cavalcante's sister has been detained by immigration officials, but would not say if she's helped her brother. She has failed to cooperate, and so there was no value in law enforcement uh, keeping her here at this point. Police are warning against anyone assisting him. We will prosecute you fully for those actions. Franco Rosa used to live with Cavalcante. What was he like as a roommate? Super quiet guy, really shy, wouldn't talk much. He wouldn't, st he wouldn't start a conversation. They were roommates until Cavalcante moved out the day before he murdered his ex-girlfriend in 2021. Has he made any attempt to reach out to you? No, no, nothing at all. And I hope he won't do it. And if he does, I'll call the police right away. But he has reached out to others. This is Cavalcante on a doorbell camera on Saturday night, trying to contact a former co-worker. His image drastically changed from when he escaped prison, now clean shaven. <laughs> Authorities now say the search is entering the, quote, long game, but they believe Cavalcante is only growing more desperate. The more resources, the more tools we bring to bear, uh, we will ultimately capture him. He doesn't have what he needs to last long term. And George, at this point, do police believe the fugitive is even still in Pennsylvania? Yeah, they do, Tom. In fact, they still believe he's right here in Chester County, even with no confirmed sightings of him since this weekend. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.